So um, as you can see, I just drew out my elevons. Um, the dimensions, you can make yours bigger if you want to do like serious aerobatic flying. And if you're a noob, you could maybe make them a little smaller. Let me bite that splinter out of my finger. But um, I made mine 10 inches long. See that? 10 inches long by 2 inches wide. So just make a mark 10 inches up and then measure 2 inches up. Make a line and then from there 2 inches up. Just connect that. And now you're going to get that super sharp knife of yours. And it's important that it's a super sharp knife. And carefully just cut those squares out. So I'm going to do that now. So I just cut mine out, and what you want to do is make sure when those are lined up, those edges, that you're going to want to cut a little space out of there. Um, see, that used to go in there, but you just want to cut a little bit more off um, the elevon than you need so those can move freely and they won't touch in between there and they won't bind up or anything. So as you can see, just make it like that. Now we're going to bevel um, these edges. Let me put out a little tripod here on this thing. And I'm going to take, this is really important to have a sharp knife now, and take the edge that's under it, so if you flip it up, it's going to be this edge, and you're going to bevel it like this. Now, um, how I usually do it is I just hold the thing and really carefully make sure that the, that the blade is cutting the corner of that. Now, I make mine a little over 90 degrees, so I'll just peel this up. It's like that, as you can see. Um, but I just basically do this by hand. This knife, it must be getting a little more dull because if you can see, it kind of takes some chunks out. And instead of the knife slicing the film, it kind of like grabs it. That'll happen if you have a dull knife. So I'm just going to keep going here. Just cutting that. Make sure I don't, um, make sure I don't cut any out of the upper part of the control surface. Take your time, don't cut yourself, and voila, you should have something that looks, looks like that. And then when you put this down here, it should line up there, and just do that to the other side now. So both, both of our elevons are hinged, uh, or not hinged, but they're both beveled, now we're going to hinge them. For the hinges, I'm going to use normal packing tape. I'm not going to use that Scotch Tough tape because that stuff is expensive. And these hinges don't need to be like bulletproof. So what you want to do is take a piece of tape and take your hinge and line it up perfectly. You don't want to like smash it in there, but you just want to line it up just naturally so they both go together. And then put a piece of packing tape over the top and crease it down. And then grab another piece of tape about that big and do it to the other side also so if you can see here now that hinges up like that and if you look you see it's a nice uh, edge there now you're going to flip it over so you're looking at the bottom of the thing and you are going to take your tape another piece of tape like this as you can see and bend your control surface up and then wrap the tape around the upper edge. Hold on. So, as you can see, I've got the tape like that. Now I'm just going to pull it tight around and I'll flip the wing over and just crease it all down there. So, what that just did is made another hinge on the opposite side. So if your thing pulls up like this, it's not going to come up because there's two pieces of tape on the other side. See that? See how that's done? Um, so now I'm going to do, I'm going to hinge this one and finish this one. So now we're going to install the control horns. So break them out of their little wood things with like that. Um, just a little piece up there. Just kind of get them all geared and stuff. There's one. Here's dose. There you go. Now, what we want to do is go back here to our control surface and uh, zoom out and put this thing down here. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is measure in about three fourths of an inch from the edge. So from here to here, three fourths of an inch. 
and it, I like to just kind of press it down so you can see an indentation of where it should go in the foam. And then take a knife and just cut a slit through there like that and then just snuggle this in there. Uh, just kind of like, you know what, these ones are pretty freaking low so I'm going to move it back a little. Just So I think it would be a good idea to have that dot line up with that hinge so about like that you see and have them like pop them up a little bit like you don't want them really low like that but maybe kind of have them pop up a little like that and now we're gonna take our hot glue gun or I'm gonna do this to the other side over there and then you're gonna take your hot glue gun and put a bead of hot glue in there and then just put this where you want it um, so I'll show you that. Putting in that hot glue. No, 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 no. So, yeah, like that. Just take this here thingy and push it down in there and pop up the front a little bit. Slide it forward. Get some extra of that glue off there. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just put a bead of glue along that edge just get it make sure it's sturdy in there and it's not going anywhere just kind of wipe some of that glue get those glue strings off and there I have a fairly solid control thing so now I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other SID so now go get your piece of scrap foam um, 9mm Depron from making the wing part and we're going to make the horizontal or the vertical stabilizer. So what you want to do is find a corner where you're going to cut it and this part's going to attach to that part of the wing right there. Um, so you're going to take it and measure about 7 or ex actually exactly 7.5 inches back from there and then up about 7 inches. This doesn't have to be exact, but about 7 inches up uh, make that square. And then right here you're going to go over about an inch. I did more like an inch and a half, but I think it should be more like an inch over and draw that down to there on that corner and then just come out here about three inches and then go down there. This doesn't have to be exactly like this just it should look about like this um, as you can see that's about two inches long right there that part's about three um, and one-fourth that's about um, five inches so it doesn't have to be perfect just something like that about the same size so here it is all cut out and stuff. Now what you're going to need is a square or something to act as a square and you're just going to put glue along the bottom of here and stick it down there and make sure it's square. Make sure it's straight on the center line too. Make sure it's pointing forward towards the front of the airplane. So I'm just going to take it and glue up the front like that. All good. And then stick it on right here. Make sure it's super straight like that. And now I'm going to go over here and put my square up to it so I can make sure that it does not um, get all crooked and whatnot. Just like that, kind of. So now I can go carefully without moving it. Make some, a bead of glue along the edge there, strengthen that up. Maybe put some glue in that little hole right there to connect to those two pieces. Get all that glue strings away and then I'll just kind of wait for that to dry a little bit and then I'll put some more glue on the other side of that um, so yeah that is your vertical stabilizer so now you've got this nice vertical stabilizer but it's kind of square um, on the front so I'm just gonna take it down and bevel it about halfway through on this side just run that knife down through there like that and then do the same on the other side Sorry that my hand's in the way, but just go about halfway through the thickness of the thing and just cut down and like that. So you'll see there, it's all good. And same thing on the back. Just cut it down right there. Like that. Pull that off. And do the same thing over here. Uh, on this side, just cut down there and do that. So now the air will flow 
aerodynamically over this and what you can do is you can kind of pinch in like right there and it kind of makes that that um, angle less as you can see it's kind of putting pinch marks in there but it makes the airflow not go over such of an angle right there as you can see I'm just kind of angling that down and I'll do the same thing to the front leading edge um, so yeah that is just how it's done like that so now I've got a plane now I am thinking of the next step we should do and I am thinking we should put the motor on and my lens is dirty look at that I wonder if it'll focus to the stuff on the lens no, but almost. Shots, Jesus.